Alright guys, so today we're talking about iTunes. Um, I ran into a little problem the other day and had a little bit of a long search to get the final answer that I wanted to. So I'm doing a quick video on it. A lot of us have iTunes because not necessarily because we have Mac computers, but because we have Windows computers or we have iPhones and we have iPads and iPods. Some of us do have iPods and so forth. So as time goes on, you know, you get a new computer, you attach yourself to iTunes and then the computer crashes or the computer dies because you spilled something on it or it got dropped or you just replaced it or whatever case may be. And you're only allowed to have five computers attached to your iTunes account before you have a problem. And that's the problem I ran into. I found myself with five computers and I was not using any of those anymore. Some of those computers that I that it showed on my system were from 2009 so obviously they're not around anymore so I ran into a little problem so here you go this is on Windows 10 we have our iTunes open okay we're gonna shuffle up to over here on the top we're gonna go to store inside the store we're gonna go into account account you're gonna go to view my account you're going to put in your super secretive password. And yes, you need to remember the password. It's very, very important. So over here, you're going to have all your information, your credit card, if you have a credit card on file or not. I don't because, like I said, I don't really use iTunes except for a little iPod shuffle that I have that is waterproof. But that's not where we're getting into. So as you come over here, you're going to see all your information. Um, all right, and in here you should find computers authorized. One computer is authorized in, uh, to play content in his account. If you see, if you get over here and you have more than five computers attached, you're gonna have a button over here that says the authorize all. Okay, once you hit that. All the computers that you had, all the programs, all the, um, yeah, be all the computers. The Your iPhone, iPad, iPod do not get the authorized because they work based out of their iCloud. So if you have over here, have one computer, which is the machine that I'm recording out of right now. But you, I could click over here and be like, boom, deauthorize all and it will deauthorize. So if I had a second computer attached to it, you show two computers instead of one. And then you have the option to deauthorize and you could do it from there. If you are doing something different, if you're getting rid of a computer and you're deleting everything from your account prior to signing out of your iTunes, make sure to come up over here and you have view accounts. Um, again, you're going to have it right over here, authorization and you have deauthorize this computer. All right. So. You have authorized this computer and deauthorized this computer. You always want to deauthorize so you don't run the problem with the five, five authorizations issue. All right. I hope this video can be somewhat helpful, somewhat useful. Um, I know it's not as exciting as some of my other videos, but there is something to keep it in mind, you know. Um, especially nowadays that you know we have our work phones and you know. Office changes our phones every so often, so it's good to have that in mind. All right. Hope you enjoy it. Have a good one, guys.